In the last episode, we talked with Geet Marie Johansson, a Danish activist who works with social media to raise awareness and inform people about the zero waste philosophy. She talks about this philosophy, referring not only to the reduction of personal rubbish, but as a new point of view to reconsider our carbon footprint in the world and in the productive systems. We went to Italy to meet up with Giorgia Pagliuca to continue this discussion and understand how green influencers and green activists can help people to become more aware about sustainable issues. But what do we refer to when we talk about organic? This is the Organic Recipe, the podcast created by Made in Nature that explores the world of organic agriculture, discovering the stories, the research, and the people involved in this huge transformation of our habits. I believe there are many things that we should change and we should take into consideration when it comes to uh, sustainability and food is definitely uh, one of those. Um, I do believe that um, deciding uh, what we want to eat is a political act, so it's something that we choose. My journey online, I think it started almost four years ago um, and it started as a way of um, interacting with people and activate myself into uh, doing something and to activate uh, other people into do something uh, about the uh, environment, about climate change, on how to tackle individually um, climate change. And it, I think it's been almost, as I said, four years. Um, and if I think about it, it's uh, not too long, but it's not a few years. <laughs> Um, it's a, it, it was a quite a, a it is quite a journey uh, if I think about it. Um, but let's see how it goes and well, where this journey uh, takes me. Um, my name is Sergio Paluca. I'm almost 25 years old and I'm an environmentalist. I'm an activist and also people tend to call me a green influencer, um, meaning that I am also active. Uh, online and I have a platform that I developed uh, I think through throughout four years almost um, I have almost 30k uh, followers and I'm active on Instagram TikToks and TikTok and uh, I have a blog social media is a mirror where people's reactions needs and feelings are reflected the world is rapidly changing and social media is a direct source showing where our future is heading. My main source of income happens uh, online. So whatever I do uh, and whatever I try to um, transmit, uh, like all the messages that I try to um, bring online are related to uh, sustainability and to the sense of responsibility that I myself I feel um, every day in my on my daily basis. Um, I do believe that climate change is already here, and it's as a matter of fact, it's not something that will happen uh, eventually in 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 the future. But it is already here. It's something that we have to acknowledge and act upon now. Um, so whatever I try to say online, whatever I do, whatever I post, uh, every Instagram story that I post uh, is definitely related to that with the sense of responsibility that I feel, um, especially because I live in, um, in Europe, I live in the European Union, I'm part of the European Union, and I do believe that there's this sense of privilege that I should acknowledge and I should act upon. Um, I'm myself very lucky. Uh, I was born, let's say, on the lucky side of the world and I should acknowledge this privilege and do something with it. Uh, I have a platform, I have a very strong platform, I, at least I hope so, and uh, I do feel this sense of responsibility whenever I open that platform and I post something about anything really, but especially whenever we talk about food systems and climate change. How can social media bring about change? And in what way? 
This is my personal experience and of course it may be biased, but I what I saw uh, in the last three and four years is this uh, is people getting knowledge uh, in regards of sustainability and understanding uh, what sustainability actually is. Uh, so people are more knowledgeable, um, they uh, better understand topics as they are getting more informed thanks to uh, green influencers. Uh, of course, not only um, thanks to me, <laughs> gladly, um, but the um, community of green influencers, uh, especially in Italy, I think it's quite uh, wide uh, and it's densely populated by women, once again. Um, and if I have to think about why, I believe that uh, women resonate uh, more with uh, values as uh, benevolism and universalism uh, and um, with the environment, so with the uh, danger uh, consequences, with the dangerous consequences of uh, climate change and dangerous social consequences and economic consequences of climate change. There are many things that we uh, can do uh, in order to uh, reduce our environmental uh, impact on our individual environmental impact on uh, the planet, on the world and our, on our society. Uh, the first main thing that we should all take into consideration is reducing the amount of uh, meat, especially uh, cow meat. Um, and that it's something that I uh, try to do every day and I try to uh, push people into uh, acknowledging that that it's a very easy step to um, to make uh, in the everyday and daily life um, but also what I do as an activist is um, I post every day about this I do every day something about this and also uh, I do not have a car uh, I try to uh, use public transportation whenever I uh, have to go somewhere. Uh, my The train is my best friend, essentially. Um, but also another really important thing for me is being active as a citizen. So I try to uh, push people into, uh, like push <laughs> in a positive way, into um, voting. So um, taking um, a step towards being a more sustainable uh, citizen, citizen also uh, whenever we talk about politics. Uh, I do believe that the environment is one of the main goals that we should have whenever we talk about politics and I do not believe that those are two separate things but they should be part of the same discourse of, of, of the same um, uh, of the same way we um, we act every day on this planet also my life has changed completely since I started doing this or since I started essentially uh, studying uh, these issues um, I do feel this eco-anxiety that everybody is talking about. Um, I feel some kind of pressure. I do not think that we have enough time and I don't think people are taking this um, seriously or seriously enough. Um, so yes, I'm a little bit depressed on that part and this has changed completely um, since um, I opened essentially my, my platform and I realized that, uh, yes, there's not enough time. <laughs> when Georgia Panyuka talks about eco-anxiety, she is referring to a psychological disease that involves environmental issues. In certain cases, also the fear of an ecological doom is a cause for worry, depression or anxiety. This term was finally acknowledged in 2018 when Greta Thunberg talked about her feelings towards climate change. Greta is one of the most important people influencing a new generation of environmentalists. She used social media to her advantage, showing us how these platforms can narrate the present and can act as a way to create, discover and change people's opinions especially regarding food and sustainability. I believe that sustainability and uh, food systems are definitely uh, intertwined as one influences uh, the other. And also, I do believe that within changing the dynamics behind food systems, we can uh, better understand also and better grasp the concept of sustainability. Sustainability is essentially a tool to uh, help us uh, solve 
um, climatic and environmental problems, but sustainability is not only related to uh, the environment or nature. Uh, sustainability, is, as a matter of fact, is, um, at least for what I believe in, is um, it consists of three dimension, uh, three dimensions, and one is, of course, the environment, nature, but we also have the economic and the social uh, parts of sustainability. Some researchers um, evaluated and assessed it, how um, sustainability is related with organic consumption. And I do believe that organic consumption is uh, a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, um, a tool for especially consumers to um, better evaluate and better assess the situation whenever they try to uh, buy something at the supermarket, for instance. So organic food is essentially uh, given and taken taken uh, for granted uh, only thanks to the European Union as it is um, a certification that could help uh, many of us, many consumers, to um, better decide whatever they want to uh, eat and consume daily. So yes, that's why I believe uh, sustainability and organic consumption are definitely uh, related, especially on the consumer side. You've been listening to The Organic Recipe the podcast brought to you by Made in Nature and produced by R.P. Cercuiti, narrated by Eleanor Robinson and written by Francesco Pataccini. The sound director was Pasquale Cicciriello and the supervision was by Lorenzo Pasquinelli with the help of Silvia Lesi. Made in Nature is a project funded by the European Union and CSO Italy, The project's aim is to promote the values of organic agriculture in Italy, France, Germany and Denmark. Discover more about the project at madeinnature.org or visit our social networks. For narrative reasons, some interviews in the podcast have been dubbed from the mother tongue of the interviewee to English, with their consent.